Hey y'all, Adam here for Pixelated Photographer. I'm going to give you a brief overview of Lightroom. Uh, this has become my go-to application for editing, organizing uh, my photos. I used to be a big Photoshop guy, but I'm not all that smart. And Photoshop was kind of hard to uh, wrap your head around. There's a lot of options in there. It's a, it's a great program, very robust. It's, it, it's got too many options for me. This is uh, similar in a lot of the adjustments you can make, but I think it's laid out a little better. It's pared down. Uh, to include just the stuff that photographers need rather than uh, a full graphic uh, program that, that Photoshop can be. Uh, anyway, this is it. I'm using Lightroom 3. Uh, right now we're on the library tab. Lightroom consists of about five different, uh, they call them modules, uh, to do the different things you need to do. The library tab, this is kind of where you organize and keep track of your photos. Different panels on the sides here uh, with different information. This is how I can switch uh, to other photos in my in my uh, catalog down on the bottom here's a film strip mode I can switch between different photos there there's a few different views right now I'm in grid view which is nice if you want to kinda overview of all your photos you can switch to uh, loop view which is just a single photo and then if you select multiple photos you could have well, let's see we'll pick a couple of them here you can go into compare uh, and and kind of vote on which ones you like. These are two different pictures, even though they look very similar. But I can say, oh, I like this one better, so I'm going to close one of them out. It brings up the next one. I can say, oh, I like that one better, so I'm going to close this one out. And it just goes on and on like that. So you can kind of compare a little easier between two two foot uh, photographs. The next mode is survey mode, where it actually brings up multiple photos. So you can look at more than one and, and kind of pick out the ones you like and close them out, and then they cycle down. So that's uh, that's the library view. An interesting uh, note, this does do video. You can't edit video, but it will help you organize and track your, uh, your videos in the same mode. It also does uh, certain types of documents, which is kind of a handy feature for uh, people who like to keep documents along with maybe some of the photos they've taken. The next module, this is kind of the workhorse for all of uh, Lightroom, and this is the develop module. This is where you're going to make edits to your photo. Uh, big panel over here contains basic. There's an adjustment brush. There's uh, spot removal, crop tools, some of the, the stuff you would expect to see. This is going to be very similar uh, to Adobe Camera Raw if you ever use that. Adobe Camera Raw is actually built into Lightroom. Uh, same raw editing uh, processor that you would use if you were going to load up a raw file into Photoshop. A lot of the same stuff. All the adjustments are made here with these sliders back and forth to adjust different things. And there's a million of them. There's a tone curve. We saw that. Uh, Chris did his video on how to use a tone curve. Um, all sorts of different stuff. Lens correction. I don't want to get into too much of it here because this is a, a brief overview. But you a ton of options, a ton of customization, really is just fantastic for editing your photos. Uh, the next uh, couple modules deal more with output. The uh, first one here is slideshow. It has some custom uh, or some built-in templates you can change, but you can make a slideshow. And then the neat thing is you can export that as a PDF. New feature in Lightroom 3, you can also export that as a video, which then you can do all sorts of stuff with, put it on YouTube, send it to your friends, anything you want. But uh, lots of options as far as customizing what it looks like. You can add music, you can put uh, text overlays in there, all sorts of stuff. Really nice feature. Next uh, module is the print module. Here's, again, lots of templates built in. Here's one for a single 8x10. Here's one for two uh, five by sevens to get on the page. But the really neat thing about this is you can customize and make your own simply by dragging the photos up there. You drag the photos on, you can resize them to any size you want, fit whatever you want on the page. And then from there you can print it or you can also print to a file and save this as a JPEG file if you wanted to send it to a lab or maybe print it in a different program if you're more comfortable with that. Again, lots of options over here that you can customize and set up uh, the printing just the way you want. Last one here is the web module. This is to create uh, galleries. Again, built-in templates, but you can also make your own. Uh, I like this first one here. This is actually a flash template, and it'll put your photos in there, uh, build all the code for you, and you can actually even upload it if you set up your FTP the way you want. You can upload it, you can export the files to upload uh, on your own, but if you had your own web space and you wanted to make your own galleries, uh, this does a fantastic job and and again, lots of customization, emails, things like that. So, anyway, back to the library here. This has been Lightroom, just a brief overview. I uh, hope 
uh, we'll do some more of these. If you like it, leave your feedback in the uh, forum post here on the video, maybe in the uh, on the blog, wherever you want. Let us know what you think. We'll do some more of these, maybe get a little bit more in depth. Uh, but that's it, Lightroom 3. Best uh, photo editing program in the world, my opinion. <laughs> Thanks.